Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina, and today we are doing a Ipsy unbagging. I love Ipsy. Seriously, it's one of my favorite things is getting these bags in the mail and going, what's in there? Love that. Oh, okay, I'm sad. I do not like this bag. This bag is sad. I do not like yellow and gold. I think it's icky. So, yeah. Everything is fitting inside this bag. This is a good sized bag. It's too bad it's this color. Um, it has a slightly fuzzy finish to it. Um, and then this part is, of course, just uh, that metallic fabric we all know. Okay, so the first thing I'm pulling out of here is the card this month is all, it says all you, which is cute. It's got pictures on it. The way to see it, November is a time to reflect on what matters most. For us, what matters most is you. So let's see what's in my bag. Um, I'm just gonna start pulling things out. So the first thing in here is the Their Real Mascara sample. The next thing out of the bag is the EM Cosmetics. It appears to be a lipstick, I think, judging by the color of the end of this. Ooh, okay. I'm liking that color so far. Hopefully that looks good on. Next thing is a CC cream by It Cosmetics in light. And I will be trying all these products on in a minute to give you my opinions about them. Um, I've heard great things about this. And then we have a naked eyeshadow um, in a beautiful silver. Ooh, okay. I like this. I don't like the fact that it's just like loose in there. Oh, but the color is stunningly pretty. Look at that. Oh, yes. That is a fun color. Really, really like that. And the last thing in here is a Skin Iceland Berry Lip Fix. So that's where we're going to start at. So this stuff is kind of thick. The berry is very, very, very subtle. As a matter of fact, yeah, you really, it almost has no flavor at all, but it is super hydrating. And that is what I like most. So forget about the berry part. This is great. It has a little teeny tiny bit of a tingle to it. So now on to the fun part. Uh, see if this matches me at all. I may look really funny today. That's okay. And from what I've seen in the commercials, this stuff is like, holy cow, amazing and just will cover for days, but we don't know that yet. Or if it's like, it really is and you just need tiny amounts. So this isn't exactly my color. Uh, it's it's a little off, it's a little dark on me, as you can see if you look here to here, it's just, it's just a tiny bit off. Um, it does cover pretty nicely. Uh, at the moment, it's not full coverage. I didn't use a lot of it. So I'm gonna combine this with um, MAC Water Weight Foundation and see how that works out. So I really do think that this foundation is really nice. If it had been, you know, in my perfect shade, I wouldn't have needed to mix it. But even with that MAC foundation, I still think that this was a really nice foundation. It has really decent coverage. Uh, this is the CC cream. So it didn't have, I don't know, it didn't seem to have quite the coverage that I see in the commercials that they show of this stuff, which is like, holy cow. I'm gonna do my brows real quick. To do my eyeshadow, I'm gonna go with my new did the balm palette. It is a lot of neutrals, which I'm hoping will complement this beautiful shade here perfectly. That's gonna be the fearless, which is just right there, and it's you know a big shade. Now I'm gonna grab fun funny right here 
and I'm just gonna put that in my crease and outer corner. So to blend that out, I'm using a little bit of feisty. These two shades just really work together super well. I like the way they blend together and just look really nice. Okay, so I have those two shades just really blended out into something that I think looks really pretty. And now we're gonna use a little bit of this carefully because it is a loose shadow. And I'm just gonna use a more suitable brush, which is this little small brush by Tarte. Oh my gosh. I am in love with this. And it went on beautifully. Just sort of tapping it in there, very small amount. Tapping it off because this will create fallout city. So using your finger, you get, oh, tons of fallout. Yeah, that's not good. But using your finger, you might want to do this, your eyelids first and then your foundation, because you're gonna get this over here. I don't know that you're gonna be able to help it, but look at this. Oh, yes. To cover up my Tina wasn't thinking mistake. <laughs> so now I have this beautiful shade of eyeshadow all over my face because yeah, <laughs> that's how I roll. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of my concealer and just pat that away. Love this eyeshadow, but you're going to want to do your eyes first. It is beautiful, it's a beautiful color. It goes on really pretty, but it is a loose powder, so it gets everywhere. Put some no color powder on. I have my blink palette sitting here. So I'm just gonna grab that lightest shade and put that in my inner corner. And now I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna blend for a minute. And for the under eye, I am not gonna use that naked. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of Friendly, which is a really dark shade, and I'm gonna line my under eye just in the very outer edge. And then I'm gonna take Funny and bring it in just a little bit more. And now I'm gonna grab my blink palette again and use that shade there to do the inner corner on the bottom. Now I have the Their Real Mascara by Benefit. I think I've actually had this before. Pretty sure I have. I really like the brush on this because you can use that little like tip that's all mace looking uh, to get your lower lashes just beautifully. Um, this mascara is perfectly fine. Like I said, my biggest issue with it is it does flake off on me of a waterproof mascara over the top and then you get the fullness and beautifulness of a mascara like this and the longevity and no movement of a waterproof mascara. So for blush, I'm gonna use this ColourPop color here. This is Cream to Powder Blush. As I'm sitting here doing my makeup, I'm noticing something about this foundation that I don't know if I'm gonna like or not. It's settling into, or looks like it's settling into pores. Hopefully buffing will fix this. So I'm gonna be a little sad if this is like a uh, foundation. Okay, I'm gonna grab a contour palette and contour my cheekbones as best I can. So I'm gonna try buffing my face out really, really well with my Urban Decay buffing brush, which is like a godsend. Okay, so buffing it in seems to have really helped this a lot. It was looking really kind of cakey in spots, 
I hate cakey. Now we're gonna try this EM Cosmetics lipstick. I've been looking forward to this. This lipstick looks beautiful. I love this color. It has a very slight vanilla scent, flavor, whatever you wanna call that. It dries down really quickly. It is kind of a dry formula, so when I say dry formula, you pull it out, you put it on, and it kind of feels like, you're like, where did it go? Um, it doesn't feel that way on the lips, but as you're putting it on, it feels sort of dry, like you're not getting very much product on there. And I really love this doe foot applicator. Um, a few brands have that with the little, like, hoof looking thing. I don't know. I really like that. It allows me to be super precise. I'm just going to use my, the Balm highlighter. This is the Highlight Contour Palette. So, I think that is my completed look with my Ipsy set. This is great, super hydrating, did a great job. So the Their Real Mascara. I like this mascara, unfortunately on me, it has a tendency to flake. So, yeah, I just put a waterproof mascara over it and it fixes that issue. So I do like this mascara. This foundation, our CC cream, um, I like, I don't know that I would now go buy it. It isn't as full coverage as some of the, as the commercials I've seen, so maybe those products, the foundation would be better. I think it looks nice, and I think that if you have skin issues, it should cover them. Uh, but I don't think this one like does such an amazing job, because I have this little thing right here. It's like a little tiny faint sunspot. Most people don't even notice it, um, but I do. And I noticed that I could still see it through here. Um, once I got my tar shape tape on there, obviously it's just gone. This is okay. I don't know how much this is. If it's super expensive, I would say try it before you buy it. Beautiful Shadow by Naked Cosmetics. Oh, I love this color. Unfortunately, it's already losing that finish that it has on my eyes. Uh, I will, let's see if I can bring that back and get it to stay. This is my Scandinavia finishing spray. This stuff is freaking miraculous. If you've never tried it, you won't regret it. Gently pat that back on the lid and then quickly Spritz that with a little bit of my setting spray and see if I can get that to stay shimmery. Because I love that green, like hollow, almost reflect it has. I know it's not truly hollow, but you know what I mean. All right, so last but not least is this M Cosmetics lipstick, liquid lipstick. So far, I really like it. Uh, I like the formula so far, I like the scent. Yeah big fan. So that's what came in this month's Ipsy bag. Five trial size products, all of which seem to do a pretty good job. Well, I guess four trial sizes and one full size because I would imagine that is a full size of that. I liked all of them for the most part. Some of them I, you know, I like them, but I wouldn't necessarily buy them again. And yeah, this is looking much better now that I put that setting spray over the top. It isn't fading back out to just the brown. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. If you got this in your Ipsy bag, let me know what you thought because I love it. That was what came in my Ipsy bag this month. I love Ipsy. I'm thinking, I have thought about canceling it every time I don't because I was like, man, I'd like to try some other subscriptions but I don't want to spend like a ton of money on just subscription boxes. And yet, every time, I think, well, I'll just cancel it, I get a bag, and I'm just like, oh, but I love it. <laughs> if you don't get IFC, let me know why you don't. Do you just hate the randomness of it all? Do you not like what you get in there? What do you think? I'd love to know, because, yeah. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!